Hello everybody and welcome back to Be Joy in the Kitchen. I am Be Joy and this is my kitchen. So we're here for, for a quickie tonight. Um, we are on phase two of our preserved lemons. Remember last week we took our lemons and we sliced them in half, stuffed them with uh, a tablespoon of kosher salt per lemon, put them in this jar and they were up to the top if you all remember. And now, as you can see, there's a lot of juice that's come out during the week. The salt has leached out the juice. And so stage two is we're going to open that and we're going to take our muddler or whatever stick or spoon or whatever you have that'll fit in your jar. And you want to squish down those lemons to get out as much juice as possible. So we're going to take that and just really squish these lemons. I'm using a, um, the same muddler that I used when I did my, uh, my grapefruit mojito. So it's a drink muddler, but you know, whatever you've got, if you have a mortar and a pestle, you can just use the pestle or the mortar, whatever one it is. Anyways, I'm going to get all these down as far as I can and squeeze as much juice out of them as possible. They're all really soft in here, I have to say. Pretty darn cool. Okay. That's what it looks like now. You can barely see that they're lemons. I see some at the bottom. Ah, there we go. Okay. Now we've got them all pushed down. The next thing we're going to do is really pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and add the juice of six lemons. And in this case, it came out to be approximately a cup. And I'm really excited to say that I got those lemons all off my tree. Yep, it's, yeah, it's almost exactly a cup, matter of fact. And we're going to pour that over what we've got. And look at that. Man, I'll tell you, whoever wrote this recipe, super smart. Because it was exactly one cup to the top. And putting our lid back on and making sure that it's really secure. And here we have it. We're just going to go and take our lemons and I'm going to go put them in a cool dark place over here and shake them from time to time and believe it or not we're going to leave them out on the counter for four weeks. So uh, next week when we, we do a recipe we'll check in and take a look at our lemons and see how they're doing um, and we're going into week one of the next four. So for you all this week I'm wishing you all joy and be joy in your own kitchen and I can't say enjoy the yum because we're not going to enjoy that yum yet. Go out there, be safe, wear your mask, wash your hands, social distance, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.